Howdy folks, welcome to the shop. Hey, today we'll be making the June Bug Cricket. Okay, for our poor to catch. Uh, I've got plenty of June Bug back here in my containers. I saved material. But some of y'all keep making comments you'd like to see me make them from scratch. So we're going to make a half a cup. I'm going to cook this up. We're going to add the coloring. I'll show you how to make the color. And we're going to shoot it into the cook Cricket molds I have right here. Alright guys, I looked my recipe up in my book. I mentioned that before. I keep my recipes wrote down. Okay. So I look them up in my book. And I write down anytime I make something, I jot it down. And I say this all the time when I'm making baits. Recipes will vary by what brand of coloring you're using. Okay. Some of them are thicker than other. Some of them go further. You write down how many drops. That's how we usually do it. Okay, now I usually do it by a cup, so I had to cut this in half, so we're doing a half a cup. Now, like I say, I usually check them, and I look at it, if I don't like it, I add another drop or two. Now, I add, this is called June Bug, nothing hard. I add black, All right, I added one drop of black. What's, what am I doing with the black? The black will darken it, okay? It gets it a little darker. Now. I'm going to add one more drop of June Bug. Because I wasn't happy with it. That's better. Okay, now. I'm putting 015. It's the size glitter I use most all the time. I use 008 sometimes in some of the baits. Okay. Alright. This little spoon right here is called a smidgen. I put a smidgen of green. And guys, if y'all got a cracker barrel close to you, I ordered these online. And uh, we have two cracker barrels. We've got one in South Hill. The one in South Hill does not have these spoons. The one in Henderson, North Carolina has these spoons in the cooking area. Yeah, I was surprised. My wife and I was down there and we had to wait. You know how you got to wait and you look around? That's what they like, right? They like to make you wait so you buy something. <laughs> and my wife and I was looking around through that department and I went, look here. She said, what? And where well, they got the skillets, cast iron skillets and stuff. Y'all been in cracker barrel, you know what I'm saying? I said, look here. She said, what is that? I said, it's the little spoons. All right, let me heat this back up, and I'll tell you the rest of it. All right, guys. I heat it back up. Let's get a shot here real fast. We got to keep this around 330, 335 to get the little tails to fill out. You got these little tails and little legs on the cricket. Now, she's going to go down. It always does. Some molds will pull down worse than others, guys. If you don't keep your eye on them, you turn your back, you're taking them off the stem from other, other base you already made, there it goes. What it is, it's cooling. All right. All right, guys. I'm telling you all the story about the cracker barrel. I got shooting, I got past it. I used uh, uh, nine drops of June bug in this half a cup, one drop of black, green and, green and red glitter, Again, make it to suit you. I, I get that question once while people say, well, how much do you put in? Make it to suit you. Mix it. And I didn't do this. I've showed this before. This is the willow tail. Take some of it. Let me show you all trick real fast. All right. Without making the video 20 miles long, I want to show you something. You can take it like this. That's the plastic. Put, put some in your, in your little mold like this. Let that cool. And you can see how, uh, what color it is. As it cools for a couple minutes, okay, you can you can pull it out and you can eyeball it. You can put it in the thick. Now this is the quarter inch thick. And you're like, no, I can see through that. I want it darker, and you can make a judgment call on it and make it the way you want it. Okay, uh, it's not that hard, and that's why it's called custom making baits, and that's why you're making your own baits because you can control what, what color you want, right? When I was talking about the cracker barrel, was these little spoons come in dash, okay, a pinch. And a smidgen. That was a smidgen I was using. This one has dash road on it. I don't think the camera's going to show it. All right? Because it's just scratched on it. Anyway, they're very small. This is an eighth of a teaspoon. That's what I used to use. Well, you can see that this 
This pinch right here is a lot smaller, right? It helps you when you're doing glitters and stuff, guys. It helps you to get to your smaller portions. It's going to help you in your in your, in your your uh, ability to get all your glitters close and same. Even when you're using the powders, okay? So I thought I'd share with you. That's, that's the rest of the story. Check your Cracker Barrel if you're a bait maker. If you want these spoons, they could have them, all right? If you go online, and they're cheaper, too. If you go online, you have to buy them from Lure Parts online. That's why I bought them. So maybe that'll save you all a few dollars. All right, now, we go to Cracker Barrel about twice a month, so... We used to go after church. And we go we go to church in Henderson in North Carolina. Alright, there you go. June bug. Alright. Aren't they pretty? Now guys, somebody's gonna get some of these. This is a nice color. It's a nice summertime color. I had no problem catching fish on these today. The Mayflies are still hatching, that's why I use these. I made one using the brim color, right? Which is brown. This is this is June bug. June bugs are a great summer color. I've got it dark enough, all right, that you you can see through it. You got the camera's probably not showing it. If you hold it up to a light, you can see through it. Okay, you can see that bluish purple. Now the black made it a little darker. If you want yours a little darker than that, put another drop of black in them. Uh, usually I use uh, I said I done eight drops. I do sixteen drops to a cup, and I usually do two drops of black to a cup. If I want them a little darker, I just add another drop of black. That's all you got to do. Or add more of the June bug, whichever way you want to take it. The black will make it darker, and uh, if you go to the June bug color, it'll stay to the bluish green more. So you decide what you want, how you want to make it. Again, make it a custom color. Make it your own. That, all right? Make it your own. That's a saying a friend of mine used to have <laughs> all the time. He said, boy, when you're doing something, make it yours. Uh, yep. That means make it the way you want it. All right? All right, guys. Y'all knew the routine. Uh, one through four hundred. I start at ten, and I've told this many a times. If you don't got it, could give us a number one. Yeah. All right. And some of y'all leaving low numbers. That's fine. Uh, there was somebody one time that was leaving number six all the time. I think or eight, and they disappeared. They quit leaving numbers. Then one day after they quit leaving numbers, it gave us the number twelve or fourteen. They would have won. Yep. So, and they didn't leave a number that week. So. Because very few people leave a low number. I think somebody's been leaving another low number, taking a chance. Uh, who knows? When I hit that random number draw, we have no idea what number's going to give us. I feel myself doing that on Wednesday night. I load that on Thursday mornings. If you leave a number, come back on Thursday mornings and watch that, okay? Make sure to see who won. It could be you. I will uh, comment back to you on Wednesday night on that video, on the, on the Port Catch video and say, Hey, you won this week. Send me your address. If you've never bought from Lake Country Baits, then I need your address. If you bought from Lake Country Baits, I have your address, okay? If you bought, let's say, in the last six months, all right? Everybody that's bought is on there, but there's like 20 or 30 pages, guys. I'd have to go through and try to find you. I don't think I can type your name in and find it. If it has, I ain't figured out how to do that yet. I'm learning learning more and more about the site. My son my son works the site. He's the one that adds the baits on. I've got three new colors coming right now he's working on, getting them on there. And he's got to do it on his spare time, so he'll get to them. And uh, he's never showed me a lot of things on the site, how to get around. I'm learning. I'm learning on my own, though. All right, guys. Good luck to everybody. Again, that will be on uh, on Sundays I load these. On Wednesday nights at 5 o'clock, or uh, after 5, usually around quarter to 5, 5.30. Today is Wednesday today. This evening, I will make the video who won this week and do that. Uh, Wednesday and Fridays are fun videos. Just fishing with the bait for fun, okay? Appreciate y'all guys. Hey, we'll see y'all next time. Fishing Lake Country. All right. Man, you're throwing a fit, ain't you? I made you mad, didn't I? Wow. Well, you got a good reason to throw a fit. I haven't got my net out, guys. I'm caught with I got two videos going at one time. <laughs> Y'all wonder sometimes how I do it. Most of the time I do one at a time, though, guys. Uh, this morning, I got a late start anyway, and the fish are a little, a little stubborn this morning. Now, I've noticed that in other trips out. Sometimes I get started, and uh, I struggle to catch a couple, and I'm digging along. And about that time, you know, about 10 o'clock, they take off. <laughs> and I start catching them. Sometimes it's just the time of day 
That's a nice fish. Real nice fish. All right, that's on the Junebug Cricket. But uh, I think they've been eating a lot tonight, and sometimes as you get toward the middle of the day, they get that little second hunger attack, you know? <laughs> it's, uh, it's all those shad, when they've been chasing all that, done to digest it a little bit, you know, and they're ready to eat something again. You see how fat they are, don't you? They're eating mayflies. You see the mayflies hanging all over this boathouse. I know the GoPro makes it look like a long ways. I'm about 16, 18 foot from the boathouse. They're stuck on the side of it there. They're on the pickets up on that overhang. They're covered with that. Uh, they've been hatching off and on now for about a month. Uh, I know I talked to, made a comment on that before. Some of y'all have made comments back that they're hatching there too. And, uh, but here they, they, they don't hatch one week and quit. Here they last about, usually last about the middle of August or longer most of the time. Wow. All right, guys, the crappie are back there about 30 foot, and this cricket doesn't skip the best, but I was about 10 feet short of them. I, got, I could see my bait that time. I seen it when it was sinking, and I seen this crappie come running. I mean, he, he called fair catch. He was coming. Here he come. He never even slowed down. He nailed it. He thought he had an easy, catch, easy bite on the mayfly, I'm sure. That's a nice fish. He's a little old 10. He just, <laughs> he threw water back on me, guys. All right, let's see if we can find another one back under there. And we'll give this dock another couple of casts and we're gonna move. I already made another video on this dock, guys, so they know I'm here. They don't take them long to catch on to you. Damn, got another one, guys. Like I said, they're a good ways back under there. About that picking table, they're about 15 foot back or the trick is getting it to them. Uh, if I can get it to them, they'll hit it. Now that last one came out after it, but I wasn't that close to it. But the average, the average crappy back there is not coming for it. If it ain't close to him, well he can just pick it up. He doesn't want it. Now guys, this is the water here is pretty clear. This is June bug color. Yeah, I put a red head on it. Yep, June bug color makes a makes a good color for the summertime. Bass fishing here, you can't beat June bug in the summertime. And you're like, why? I I don't know, but they like June bug. This would be good in stain water. We talked earlier about clear to stain water. This would probably be good stain water. It's got red and green flake in it. All right. So, hey, these mayflies are hatching. Uh, the boathouse I started on up there uh, had all kinds of mayflies on it. This one has a few. You see them on the cover. I don't see many live ones here. There are actually where some had flew out and landed on my boat up there. Uh, and I, the guy that owns the place came out there and he said, Boy, mayflies are thick. I'm gonna come down to the garden hose and hose them off. I said, okay. So I left the boathouse, guys. That's why I left. He was gonna do some work on it, but he had mayflies. They were thick there. I see there grew some flying around. I see a couple flying around here and there. Uh, I was only told they live about 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours, but they must be hatching a lot right now because uh, there's a lot of them around. Bam. That's summertime size right there. He's about 10 inches. All right, guys. On the cricket. We're going to see if we can come up with one, one more here. And we'll end this video. How's that? He's about nine and a half, I'm going to guess. This one's mean. He ain't a fair big, but he's mean. Oh, yeah. He's decent. He's decent. Oh, he's probably, he's probably 10 and three quarter. All right, guys, I might add another one as I head up the lake. I'm going to stop one more place heading in. There you go. That's on the June bug cricket. Y'all know the routine. If I catch another one in this other place, I'll just stick them in front of this one, all right? If you look a little odd, that's what happens. <laughs> um, Y'all know the routine. It's 1 through 400. You leave your number. Wednesday night, I'll sit down and do a random number draw, and I hit the computer, and it gives me a number. Whoever comes the closest to that number without going over that number wins. If you've bought from me before, if you've ordered from me before, I've got your address. So I'll mail it to you. If you haven't, you need to send me your address. My email is under the, under the uh, show more, under the video. Okay? Wednesdays and Fridays are fun videos. That video I make on Wednesday night, I load on Thursday morning. So you get a fun video on Wednesday morning, you get the winner's video on Thursday, and you get a fun video on Friday, and another port of catch every Sunday. Appreciate y'all guys. Make sure you're subscribed, okay? If that thing is black, you're not a subscriber, all right? 
Hit the like button if you feel like it. That helps uh, YouTube pass us around. The more likes we get, the more, uh, more they put us on uh, people's feed. When you cut your computer on, right there I'll be. If you subscribe, I'll be right on your uh, phone, your computer every time you cut it on. If I got a new video out, I'll be right there. Y'all appreciate that. Appreciate you subscribing. Appreciate you watching. Check out Lake Country Baits. I got a Facebook that I add to every once in a while. I don't get, I don't put something on it every week, guys. Maybe every other week I try to get something on it. All right. See y'all next time. Fish in Lake Country.